Hi, I'm Scott, and today I'm going to show you how I put in this metal roof on Dad It Yourself. Okay, so here we are in today's project. Got a little well house, a little A frame building here, and we are going to strip off these shingles and we're going to install this metal roof system right here. All right. Should be about a day, maybe a day and a half, but I'm shooting for a day. I got my helper right over there. That's Tim. Tim's going to help me out today. Well, let's get started. Alrighty, so we got all the nails, tar paper, and shingles off of here. Just so you guys know, that's 12 feet all the way to the top. Uh, we got a little bit of rot right there. It's a little teeny bit right there. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to just cut the bottom two feet off of this sheet. And then if you walk around over here, you'll see, see if the light's okay here. Yeah, it's a little bit worse right here, all along here, because this is in the shade all the time. So if it gets wet, it stays wet. So hopefully when we encapsulate this with a metal roof, this will stay dry. So again, we're going to cut the bottom two feet off of this. I'm going to go get a sheet plywood right now, and we'll replace that. So the first step of the install for the roof is to put this drip edge on. And this goes on the lower edge and then the tar paper actually goes over it. So if any water gets behind the metal roof, it goes down the tar paper and then over the drip edge. Let's get that put in. So you can see I got the drip edge on over there, 30 pound black felt paper. We're going to put that on the sides and then we're moving on to metal. Let's get this done. All right, so we got the black tar paper up on the roof. Ended up being about six inches short. It had to go by a whole other roll. That's why the lines on that top one are a little bit different. No big deal, I got other projects where I can use that product. Time to get some metal on this roof.
Okay, third panel on this side. It would be awesome if this thing was exactly nine feet and I could use three foot, three, three foot panels, but unfortunately it's not. So this panel's 25 inches, which is about three quarters of a panel. So we have to rip one panel down with the metal shears. We'll put this on and then we'll repeat what we just did on the other side. All right, so after we got the panels up, we went back and put all the field screws in. As you can see, they're right here. I tell you, using a blue chalk line ensures nice straight lines and a professional look. We're gonna come back tomorrow and finish this one up. Hey, good morning, next day here. As you can see, we got a tarp on here because like any time you do a roof, it ends up raining. But we knew it was gonna rain, so we put the tarp on. So let's pull this tarp off, get those gable ends, get those gable ends off, and put a ridge cap on this thing. Tim's holding the gable end on here. You can see here, it's down at the bottom. What we're gonna do is line this up with the siding, and then we're gonna cut a horizontal across here to match the angle of the roof. And then we're gonna go up top here. We'll cut that to length and bend that over. And then the final step would be put some of that butyl tape right along in here, and then screw this side down on a 24 inch center. So let's get that done, we got four sides. All right, so we cut the end off. We're gonna put the butyl tape on along the flange side so it seals it down to the roof. You don't need to put any butyl on this side because if any water gets under this, you wanna be able to drop it down the siding of the house. So we'll put that on, we'll put this on with a couple of screws and then we'll climb up on a ladder and cut the top to length. gable trim on here. Tim did a great job cutting everything and uh, fitting those ends up. We're going to start working on the ridge cap now and let me show you how we did that. All right so I'm up here on the ridge about 12 feet in the air. You can see I have the butyl and the foam all set up and this is different than on the bottom. This keeps the critters from coming up into the ridge cap and then keeps water from splashing up but this is permeable so if any water gets in here for any reason it'll be able to drain out and as you can see I got a nice layer of tar paper here that's a good detail shot right there for you so this is how we're gonna finish out the end of the ridge cap we cut a three inch slice here already we're gonna cut three inches here and here and that's gonna fold over and cover the end of the ridge at the gable we'll leave this piece and this piece until we get it installed and then cut it flush with the edge of the gable trim. There'll be a screw in right through this side and this side plus the butyl sealant to seal the end of this and that will finish the end of the gable at the ridge cap. Okay, so we just finished the last detail. You can see that end with the folds. Make sure the water stays out of there. Looks like water can come in here, but it can't. There's a butyl seam right in there. And it, even if water did come out, it would come down over here and then come down the rake. So that looks really good. Job well done. 
project took us eight hours that we split over two days, but could be done in one day with some help. Definitely bring a second set of hands when doing this. This is a homeowner intermediate level to difficult, but if you read the instructions provided by the manufacturer, you should have no problems installing a metal roof just like this. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, put those down below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. I've got some videos over here you may be interested in. The subscribe button's right down here. Thanks for watching. Data yourself.